Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here. Today I want to do a quick video of the update that we just pushed to Merchant Former, which is number one, we released the Merchant Former Lister, which is going to help you list your products on Merch by Amazon a whole lot faster, as well as a complete overhaul to the Keyword Finder module inside the Merchant Former software. So the first thing I want to go over is the Merch Informer Lister, which we just released. Now what this is going to be, is it's going to be a macro tool. So if, you, if you're not familiar with what that means, essentially you fill out a profile. So let's just say you, you find yourself picking the same colors over and over again for every shirt you're uploading. That's just wasting your valuable time. So what you can do with the Merch Informer Lister is make a profile for your colors. And when you're uploading your shirts, all you have to do is hit a single click of a button or a keystroke on your keyboard and it will instantly fill that out. Now the same goes for adding brands or titles or bullet points, even descriptions. All of that can be set to a macro key on your keyboard and instantly fill out your listing when you're uploading to Merch. So I'm going to show you how that works. Um, it is a Chrome plugin, so the way to get to this Chrome plugin is go to MerchInformer.com. Up in the right hand corner, click on membership bonuses, and then there's a drop down. You want to click on the Merch Informer Lister. And now this is free for all Merch Informer customers, so all you need to do is click on this button right here, which will open up into the Chrome store. Now, all you have to do is click a button, add it to Chrome. As you can see in the right hand corner here, I've already added it, and we should be good to go. Now, let me just click this here, and it's going to ask you to log in. So I'm going to pause the video and log in real quick and we'll go from there all right guys as you can see i am logged into the lister here now let's add a color profile now let's give it the, a name i like to usually use dark colors so i'm just going to call this dark and i typically set my price at 16.99 i always pick the heathers and the black and then maybe an asphalt and how about a navy so these are our dark colors we can pick which fit we want. I always pick all three, gives it the most visibility, and I want to give it a hotkey. In this case, I'm going to do Shift T. So if I hit Shift T, it should automatically fill in these colors when I'm uploading to Amazon. And I want to make sure this is set to active and just click Done. Now let's head over to a merch page right here, and we will upload a shirt. And I'll show you how this works. All right, it looks like our image is uploaded, so I just click Save and Continue. And now on this page, instead of filling everything out and changing the price, remember on our Merch Informer Lister, which is right here, all we have to do is hit Shift T. So I hit Shift T on the keyboard, instantly fills everything out, and all you have to do as a user is hit Save Selection and Continue. Now we come to this page, we're all familiar with this page. If you are someone who likes to use the same brand name or the same key product features, maybe even the same description, you can also do that in the Merchant Former Lister. All you need to do is go to the drop down menu here, click on Info Profiles, and you can set that up. So, brand name, we'll just do Merchant Former, title of the product, Merchant Former Test T shirt. You, if you want to change the price, we've added that in here. We're just going to keep that blank. Test. We'll just do test design here and here, and then we'll add a bunch of text here as I'm just demonstrating this. And let's say instead of Shift T, which we had in the last one, we're gonna do Shift R. Make sure it's active and click Done. And now you have this profile right here, where if you're in this page, simply click Shift R, and everything is instantly filled out, and all you have to do is save and continue. Now again, these bullet points can't be the same, just for explanation purposes is why I did that. But let's say you had an issue with it and you wanted to go back and change it, simply click on the plugin here, which will open this page, and all you have to do is pick a color profile or an info profile, come in here and click edit, and you can come in here and change it to whatever you want. So we'll finish that up. You can also import and export different profiles. Now this is really helpful, especially if you have a VA uploading for you or an employee that works in your office. You can export all the profiles that you have, give them to your VA, and then they can do the uploading for you to make sure they don't have to rebuild everything. 
And finally, let's say you are typing out in Merch by Amazon over here, and for some reason you wanna hit Shift R or Shift T or something that you've set to a key, you wanna make sure that gets turned off occasionally. Easy, you just hit settings over here and disable hotkey, you know, maybe, maybe one. And then to enable it again, two. So hit save, that's all you need to do, it should be good to go and then you can use it here. This is a real quick down and dirty to the Merch Informer Lister. We are going to probably have some updates coming to this in the future, but for now it's very, very easy and kind of intuitive to use. It also works on pop sockets, guys. So those are really hot right now. That's what I'm personally uploading and it makes the process go so much faster. Now, another thing I wanna show you is actually inside Merch Informer. So let's go ahead and log in here. Now, if you don't know how to get to the lister, you can also log into Merch Informer and click the Merch Informer lister here at the top. But what I actually want to show you is in the keyword finder, we, we put some updates here. So this looks a little bit different. We used to have by Amazon and by Cafe Press. We added by Etsy. Now, this is going to take a little bit longer to pull back results, but I'm just going to show you how this works. So I'm just gonna type dog here and click search. Now, it can take up to 190 seconds. It might take a little bit more. We do a lot of calculations to make sure we bring the most keywords back into the tool. So while that's running down, this is usually a good thing to run while you're actually uploading to Merch, or you're using the Merch Informer Lister, or you're even you know, hanging out with your kids, hanging out with your family. But as you see, that came back fairly quickly, and there's 1,110 results for dog. And you can come down here, and there's all sorts of ideas. Now let's say that, you know, that's a lot of ideas. How on earth am I gonna analyze that? Maybe you like to actually download them into a CSV. I know a ton of people have been asking for this, so we went ahead and we included over here in the actions. You can download this, and let me bring it over here in the other window. Right here, we have the keywords, the search volume, the CPC, the competition, and you can simply click the search volume here, come to data, sort it, and sort it by search volume, and there you go. Smallest, there is a lot to largest. And you can come in here and get all sorts of different keywords to make sure you're either niching down or you're finding niches that have a lot of competition and a lot of people in them but that's where there's gonna be a lot of money being spent. So it kind of depends on your strategy for Merch by Amazon, how you wanna use that. Now, if you don't wanna download a CSV, that's fine. I do a lot of my stuff directly in Merch Informer. So I'll, we added another thing right here called Sort By, and you can sort this by search volume and see right here, you know, the search volume of the different keywords, or you can search by the cost per click right here. So very, very, very useful. It's relatively fast. If you find yourself having to wait a few minutes, that's okay, that's expected, as long as you are selecting all three of these right here. But it should be almost an invaluable tool. Before, if you search dog, you might get 200 results, and I, now, now we're over 1,000. So we reworked a lot of stuff in the back end, and I really hope it helps you guys. If you have any questions about the Merch Informer Lister, if you wanna see any more tutorial videos on either that or some explanations for the Keyword Finder, let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.